morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back so just pulled up to the good old california delta that's weird it feels like i haven't been here in a long time it hasn't really been that long but just with all the tournaments going on just feels like uh haven't been here in a while so here today and the reason we're here today is to big fish hunt and let me uh, explain myself being in california now for six seven years i think if you were to take the top hundred biggest bass that i've caught in california in those past six seven years i think it would be safe to say that at least 50 percent maybe 60 maybe even 70 percent of those top 100 big fish come right here on the california delta this time of year when we do get later into spring and into summer yeah the bites will be plentiful out here every fish in the system will be active catch them on top water catch them on pretty much whatever you want but they'll in general be smaller where this time of year you won't get as many bites but i've definitely found that the bites you do get tend to be a little bit bigger potentially a giant potentially a pb like i said i haven't been here in a little while i don't know exactly how it's fishing but i do anticipate that it won't be a lot of bites but there is a very good potential for some big bites and maybe a big fish it's about 6 30 right now sunrise is in about another 15 minutes we're looking at a pretty nice morning sunny skies maybe a little bit of a breeze we've got a big incoming tide right now it should be outgoing most of the morning yeah i'm excited to get out there and as always we'll see what happens sea lions too a couple of them ripping some fish apart not sure what they are but i'd imagine there's some striper in here and hopefully bass man it looks alive this morning it looks alive definitely gonna fish some history today fish some new areas cover some water hopefully the fish don't make it too hard on us Take it a step further other than time of year and the delta big fish typically have been on the jig my point being i think if we get a bite today a big bite there's a good chance it'll be on this jig it doesn't get a lot of bites out here but man if i do get a bite on it it's either going to be a five plus or a 12 incher <laughs> their eyes were that close <laughs> whoopsie good thing i wasn't going full speed there that could have been a blooper reel what's weird is it's high tide and you can see that the grass is already really topped out tide drops another foot which it'll definitely do this isn't even fishable right here it's the other kind of trippy thing about the delta especially with last year's storms and everything composition of it has just changed completely certain areas that were clean now have grass areas that had grass are now clean there's like little sand mounds or whatever that have formed there's been levee breaks it's really changed a lot of the layout of the delta especially around these areas where there's a lot of current breaks that tide can really get moving i think the biggest thing for me today is to not completely rely on history and you know if things aren't working try something completely different oh, look at that guy coming out getting some sun yeah it is warming up sun's out is the fishing gonna heat up though man i don't want to jinx anything but i'm already starting to get kind of a bad vibe right now at least in this area water's only 57 it's not for sure it'd be like 60 by now but i mean i've thrown everything a lot of stuff including the worms the drop shots the senkos and if you're not getting bit on worms out here that's not very good probably means you're not around them you can see finally on the uh 360 all this grass surrounding us finally got a little nice lane of clean bottom it's right by a break so i don't know if it's ideal i don't like these areas more in the slack water parts of these islands but i'm gonna definitely fish it
I got one. There we go. Largy. Cranky. Oh, red cranky still a player? Alright, well. I'm gonna put you in the boat. Alrighty. No skunk? Maybe a hint? Wouldn't you know, if you look at the graph, what are we in? Clean bottom. Yeah, a little chunk, I'll take you. Alright, well that helps a little bit. Whoops. Oh no. Striper out there. Striper. I'm dinking around over here. anything the bites today definitely striper right there i mean it could have been bass too i was gonna say if we fish a lot of moving baits for a good part of the day i think we're bound to catch a striper there's just so many dang sea lions in the area they have to be just loaded around here and yeah, a striper hit on top too or whatever that i mean I, I think it was a striper could have been a bass but they hit on top there we go oh no good yeah, it's gotta be. Oh yeah, stripey, yeah. Dude, striper love the cull shad. Like, just love this thing. It's maybe one of the best striper baits I've ever used. I think this water clarity is perfect for it too. Well, I am not gonna say no to a striper bite. You ever notice the fish blow up when like you're at the end of your cast? <laughs> right? I literally should have brought like a walking bait today. Dang it! Man, oh man, this tide is moving. Still moving out real fast. Just to like give you guys an idea is how strong this tide is. I usually can get this boat up to five, seven, almost six miles an hour. In certain points during that little run right there to this next spot, we we're topping out at three and a half. So it's slowing me down by like two and a half miles an hour. That's how strong the tide is and without any wind. Tide's no joke out here on the Delta, but the point is you can see how ripping current through some of these areas might affect the fish, especially this time of year when they want to spawn, get shallow. They don't want to be in big strong tidal currents. I'm definitely looking for more slack water areas kind of tucked inside some of these islands where the tide and the current shouldn't affect the fish as much. I don't know, we'll see. Past 10 o'clock, it's been kind of tough today so far. There we go. Well, another bite. Not really the size we're looking for, but uh, it might be a crankbait day. That's a dainty one right there. <laughs> Up at about four foot of water though. This is what I'm talking about, the delta changing every year. Like this sand mound for sure wasn't here last year. So this form this year, I guess based on weather, tide, I don't even really know how these form, but just an example how this area is completely different. Got a little one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the old cranky, cranky day. Man, this is not what I meant by saying some of my biggest fish were this time of year on the Delta. Not these guys. These guys are the, the bait the big ones eat. 
where are the big girls? Well, as I continue to experiment with baits and everything, it's pointing towards a crankbait right now, which I think means the bite is super off. I think I'm force feeding these fish, getting them to react. I'm sure there's fish that we've gone over and they're just not eating our jigs or whatever we're throwing at them. The bites we've had on this crankbait whiz by their head and they eat it, even though they're little. Man, just about 12 o'clock. <laughs> so tough. So tough. But it could happen at any moment. You could just run across that red stretch of fish or wherever they're pulled up. I don't know. It's weird. Like the water temp is pushing 60 now. You think these fish would be up shallow, making beds, cruising around, and it'd be easy to trick them on at least something. Water's just a little bit too dirty for me to really see well up shallow, but I mean, they've got to be up shallow. I just do not know what's going on. I think it has to be a location thing, like just not in the right area. For whatever reason, certain parts of the Delta right now, this area is dead. Lack of bass. Hoping there's some population somewhere around here. That is the tricky part with kayak fishing, especially the Delta. When you launch, you got like that seven, eight, maybe nine, 10 mile radius where you can't really go much further than that. So you really gotta pick everything apart and make do with what you have. There's a bite. Oh, I lost it. Finally got it. Oh my goodness. It, honestly, it felt like another tiny one. It doesn't even hurt that bad because that didn't feel big at all. Yeah, see? Up in like three foot. That's where they're supposed to be. Oh, what was that? Wait. Is that a fish? It sounded little. I was looking at my front GoPro. It's been acting up all today. What was... I don't understand what just happened. Let's look at the replay on that one. Oh, we got it. Oh, we had it again. Shoot. I think that was a fish. It's probably like another six incher up there. I'm doing something wrong. There's something I'm missing here. Not sure what it is. Kind of running out of ideas other than just covering more water. It really hasn't been productive so far. Dude, this is way different. Kind of crazy. his head out. I don't think he's on a bed though. He's gone now. That was weird. Just like kind of came out of the grass and looked at me. That's probably where all the fish are in the grass. Man, even over here there's so much more grass than I remember. There's like a little opening right there and I could have sworn he was on a bed but no, nah, I guess not. Whoa, look at that. That was a bass. Way up shallow. It's all beat up looking. He was literally sitting right there in like six inches of water. I yeah, should have been fishing the man-made stuff the whole day, I guess. Or at least there's some fish over here. I cannot believe how shallow that fish was. Could have been a frog eater right there if I'd randomly thrown the frog. Well, it's the first time I've come over to this side fishing like the, the houses and the docks. And I already saw two quality fish. Tied so low that it pushed that fish off the bed for the nearest cover. I mean, that's 100% a bed. See that, guys? And I get more obvious than that. Well, 145. Maybe we'll be able to salvage the day by fishing over on this side.
going to disturb it a bunch of stuff. Right? I haven't seen what they are though. Is it bait? Might be bait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just perfect. Dude. That is, I mean, I'm telling you guys, biggest fish of the year of your lifetime, California Delta, this time of year, man, just giants, giants. You know what the sad thing is? I'm still happy to get that bite. <laughs> like it's still, like, I don't know, makes me happy. Just such a stingy day, anything right now. Go bluegill fishing, I don't even care. Man, I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of wish I was at Folsom right now. Well, that is not good when you say that. Well, the tournament last week, Folsom was fishing pretty good. Jeez. Seems like a giant. I swallowed it. Giants. Man, seemed like a giant after catching three inches. Man, oh man. See, that kind of thing should have been happening all day doing this in these areas. Just, I don't know. I don't know what's up. Can't explain it. Shallow flat. Water 63 now. Like, how are there not fish just stacked in these areas? Oh, there's a good one right there. Hey, that's a different fish. That's like a two yonder. Not on a bed, though, right? We found a little group of fish. Just saw one and just had a decent one on. Dang it. Three o'clock. It's gonna definitely keep me here a little longer instead of just giving up now that I got some bites right by the launches right there. There's definitely gotta be more. Oh. Found a little area of fish. Just can't hook them though. Put them in the boat. My problem now. I'll take you guys any day of the week after the day we've been having. Thank you, sir. All right. Not saying this day is going to turn around, but I think we can get some bites now. Got a little spot. What's weird is I've been fishing areas just like this all day and minimal success. Well, no success. Why this spot? Why now? A couple of them, a bunch of little, little tiny ones. joke that one was massive oh dude it's huge enormous he might come back holy crap it looked like a carp it's like a decent one with it too wow yeah just saw a giant and then like a two and a half pounder came swimming back i wonder if that's a, a pair on a bed <sighs> it's hard to say These are my arch nemesis today. These fish are on bed. That's a fatty. Stay pinned. Ah, I gotcha. Alrighty. There's some good fish around here. There are. Right 
to that spot real quick. Oh, another one. That's a different fish. That's a good one. How do I get you to bite though? What do I gotta do? Real spooky is the problem. They're in that weird like middle stage of not quite locked on the bed, but they want to be and they're just they're not biting really. Not the big ones. Oh. oh no! No! He did bite! <laughs> I saw him right there. He actually bit. That's good. Are you kidding me, dude? There he is too. I wonder if he's got my hook in his mouth. Sweet! I don't know what's going on this year. It's not even just the tournaments. It's, I feel like this year I've lost more fish than I care to count. I'm curious to see if I can hook that fish again. Oh, that could be a tough one. I think my drag's a little too tight. Got to get a little play in there. Son of a gun. It's going to be hard to sight fish. Oh, got one. Oh, no. I guess it's gonna be hard to sight fish now. I don't think I see any more sunshine for the day. I'm just about to the end of this little stretch here. Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, got some, some bonus fish, I suppose. Way up shallow though. Saw a couple of good ones, just didn't connect with them. Come on, one for the road, one for the road. Water steam in. Thing is, there's good ones in the mix here too. It's not just the little fellas. Just gotta hope they get to the worm first. Oh! Yeah, it had to be little. It had to be little, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I'll take it. It's okay. I'll still take you. Oh boy. guys wow oh wow that was a very tough day out on the delta i think it's kind of ironic that today i kind of talked it up oh big fish central this time of year not many bites but bites you get gonna be giants i tell you man those fishing guys they hear you they hear you before you get out on the water if you get cocky if you get too confident try to call your shots they will punish you and uh, I don't know, all joking aside today, it looked promising. This is again a time of year that I've come to the Delta. Big fish are moving up. There's always that potential for sure, but it just didn't play out like that. Got out on the water. First thing I noticed immediately was a ton of sea lions. I mean, I saw probably a dozen sea lions throughout the day today. Lots of sea lions in the system. Definitely some striper in the system. Went to some of my confidence areas through my confidence baits where I've had some big bites in the past. Nothing worked. Through the jig, through the spinner bait. Ended up going finesse with some drop shotting, some wacky worms. A few hours went by until we got our first bite on the crankbait that fritz side big in five hit it right at the boat kind of a random fish but ironically saw a few fish in the distance busting put the crankbait down real quick picked up the cull shad fired out got smoked yeah, a little short striper which always fun especially if you're not getting bit always good to get a tug messed around that area for a little longer and uh, i don't think it caught much else moved on covered a ton of water tide was dropping all day i thought we'd have a good tide starting pretty hot moving tide and outgoing tide all morning i covered water i even ran through some of the same areas I did before, but I didn't get anything to go. Try a lot of different things because you can try so many things. And if you're not throwing the exact bait at the exact time in the right location, you'll just miss the fish. So I just wanted to cycle through a lot of baits, cover my bases. Ended up picking up a few more on the crankbait. Little ones, very surprising. Kept moving. I was ready to call it quits, but again, it is the California Delta. I feel like no matter really what time of year to give yourself the best chance out here to get on some fish, you really have to put eight to 10 hours out here. You have to fish a couple of tides 
or at least a tide and a half. We got all the way down to low tide, but right by the ramp, just figured I'd fish inside the island, go up real shallow. The wind actually had calmed down, the sun had poked out. Saw them up shallow. There were some fish up shallow, just like I thought they should be in those areas that we'd fished before. But now that I could actually stand up and see them, I could see them cruising around. I saw a couple that looked like they were on beds or just about to be on beds, but can't say for sure. And uh, kinda salvaged the day at the end. Caught a few small ones, caught a few maybe keepers. Did see a couple of big ones, but you know how that goes, fish stories. And then uh, snapped off a fish. So I don't know, it was a tough day for sure. Not exactly what I expected out here, but that is the beauty of fishing, right? You really can't predict a day. Even though things may look amazing, you may have a ton of history here, sometimes it just doesn't work out. But as I always say too, these are the kind of days that make you appreciate the good ones that much more. Part of the game, keeping it real with you, showing you guys the struggle I had today. Probably the toughest day of fishing I've had all year. But as always, I thank you guys for watching, for coming along, and I will see you in the next one.